Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And today, as I was editing some video, I wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and show the differences between 4K HQ and 4K FOV. Now there seems to be a few questions out on the internet today as to which profiles shoot 10 bit and which don't. I also want to touch on that. So two parts to this video, we're going to cover the 4K HQ and FOV differences, as well as 10 bit color. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll start out talking about 4K HQ, which for the purpose of this entire video, we will assume that this entire sequence was filmed in HEVC or high efficiency video coding 420. No worries, that's just a fancy way of saying H265. HEVC offers the same level of picture quality as H264, but with better compression. So less data to the SD card. At the time of this recording, only H.265 offers the ability to change color profiles. H.264 unfortunately only offers the normal color profile, but it's still very impressive. While we are on the topic of color profiles, let's talk about the three available. We have none, which is the normal straight out of the camera profile, which is great if you're only looking to do minor white balance adjustments and color correction. There is HLG, which is labeled as an HDR video profile and D-Log M, which is tailored to the Hasselblad camera mounted to the front of the Mavic 2 Pro. Both of these profiles record in 10-bit color, which will help with the banding issues seen in some of our previous drone footage. An extremely abbreviated explanation of why 10-bit is better than 8-bit is the fact that there are more shades of color to blend colors and shadows, which reduces color banding and blockiness in video. This typically shows up the most in clear blue skies and extremely contrasted situations. Now onto the differences in HQ and full FOV. Both 4K HQ and full FOV offer the exact same frame rates of 24, 25, and 30 FPS. 4K HQ or cropped mode will get the best possible 4K image from the sensor. 4K HQ is roughly 1.4x crop with a 55 degree field of view or 39 millimeter equivalent and takes the sampling of the 5K sensor, 5K in quotes, sensor and crops in an almost pixel for pixel readout. Full FOV mode is much more artificially sharpened to make up for the loss of detail. There is a significantly higher amount of clarity and precise detail when using the HQ or cropped mode in comparison with the full FOV. In my opinion, when filming and you can get away with it with the cropped image sensor, I would use the 4K HQ for best image quality. The good news about all of this is that this will get better with time. The longer the Mavic 2 Pro is out and the more firmware updates happen, we should be seeing an enhanced image quality as the camera profile gets built out more. There's still barrel distortion in full FOV that needs to be corrected in post, as well as some other issues that reduce the quality of the image, like artificial sharpening, but these are all things that can be adjusted and corrected for yourself in post. All right, so I hope this video has helped you guys out. I hope it uh, you get a better understanding of the differences between 4K HQ and 4K FOV, as well as being able to select that 10-bit color. The link to the DJI Mavic Pro is in the description below if you want to check it out and support this channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I will see you next time. Peace.